Welcome back friends. Today we are going to build our prototype coffee table so that we can start selling. We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. We started out the week by fulfilling some charcuterie board orders for Christmas mostly that we got from our family and friends. We weren't really advertising for holiday sales at all, but a lot of our family and friends really stepped up and ordered quite a few of them and it really did help us figure out our processes. First thing we do in the morning when we wake up is we check for any orders and then we fulfill them just so we can get them out in the mail right away that morning and then get on with whatever we were gonna do for the rest of our day. And this week that meant working on our prototype coffee table. Guys, look at this router bit we just got. That is an inch and a half round over bit. This thing is huge. So we're gonna use this to round over the feet of the coffee table. So this is a better way than trying to sand it smooth and get all four of them identical. We can just use this bit. So it's actually pretty cool. This bit, it's loud, it's scary, it's heavy, it's fast, um, but it cuts like a dream. I'm extra cautious with this bit because it's so large, but we haven't had any problems with kickback. It takes everything out all in one chunk. I think it's because there's enough mass. It's got enough inertia that it can cut through the wood um, and it's proportional to its size. I'm not asking too much of the bit and the router to cut it all in one pass. I tried trimming the corners on the bandsaw and that honestly made it worse. So. Anyway, I think we're just gonna take the feet straight to the router bit. Of course, we got the fence here for safety, but it works really, really well. But yeah, we're curious, have you guys ever used a router bit this big? Interested to hear your stories in the comments below. What's the biggest router bit that you've ever used? So 
So we started to get a little worried about how this coffee table was gonna turn out. If you watched our video last week, which if you're a subscriber, congratulations, you saw it. I mean, you got a lot of questions, like how high should the chamfer be? Should we use a domino to attach it? Or should we just use a screw and plug it with a dowel? There's just all sorts of joinery questions and stuff like that. And, and I mean, the whole point is that this coffee table is supposed to represent our brand. We're Samara Table Company, and this is the first table that we're producing. So there's a little bit of an expectation there as far as like the quality and and how this piece is gonna represent the rest of our brand. We talk a lot about this in our marketing program, about having a business identity and what you wanna be known for. Well, we wanna be known as a table company. It's in our name. So our tables have to be really, really good. We're just trying to take our own advice here and uh, make a really nice product. And we just have to remember that this is a prototype. The whole point of it is that it's not really perfect the first time around and you figure out what's not perfect about it so that you can fix it in the following iterations. We want to get it as close to what we want as possible, but if it doesn't exactly check all of our boxes, that's okay. That's the whole point of this build. So knowing all of that, we made decisions based off of what was easiest to build. We didn't start with the most complicated option of attaching the legs and the cross members and everything like that because it is a prototype and we didn't want to be bogged down by like really complicated methods of doing things. We wanted to start with the easiest, see if that worked out, and then if we wanted to make it more complicated down the road, we could do that. really heavy table, like at least 100 pounds, maybe even up to 150. It's solid ash, so it's like, it is very bulky and heavy. Um, but we've just got to test like, if it is sturdy enough, if there's any twisting or wobbling or anything like that. <music> the whitest people in the world dancing on top of it, then I think it should be fine. So overall, we're really satisfied with how this coffee table turned out. We really like it. And there's very little we have to tweak in the original plan. So this table is definitely ready to take pictures of and start marketing to clients. And now that we've built it, we're confident that we can build something that is now good enough to sell to clients and also good enough to wear our business name. So thanks for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and follow our journey as we start a business here in the Houston area. We would love for you to come along on the ride. So subscribe, come hang out with us, and we will catch you on the next one.